he wants to come back in an environment where he can see how he's doing. I mean, he couldn't, he was trying to survive today. This was a, this was a battle of attrition for the guys out there to see who could really manage the situation. And you have to give the 22 year old a ton of credit. Every time Novak snuck back in, I would take a breath and go, oh, here comes a great player. Time for the young guy to go away. And he didn't. He did a great job in the big moment, particularly start of the third set, down break point, the first game held, and then ran away with it. It was impressive. Listen, Novak Djokovic is arguably the greatest athlete on the planet, Andy. So when you hear him say he physically collapsed, couldn't move anymore, what does that say to you? Yeah, you can't fake tournament reps. You know, I, you could play five hours in practice, but when you get the adrenaline and you get the nerves, it's its own kind of exhaust mechanism. And when you haven't kind of dealt with that recently, I mean, he's, he's very short on matches uh, since the U.S. Open, uh, you know, last year. So, um, you know, it, it was a big ask. And what Novak was hoping to do was turn it around, get through, survive this match, and then find his game later on. Credit to Davidovich Fokina. Also, when you're coming back in your Novak, the last thing you want is really blustery conditions, right, where your feet aren't quite under you. I don't think Novak moved that well today. I felt like he was lunging a lot more than he normally did. The switch of directions wasn't quite there. Not a big thing to worry about, all to be expected, but expect him to maybe sneak in another tournament or two, play a little bit of a heavier schedule until he finds that footing, obviously with a goal being Roland Garros.